Hi, hi, Genki Call here with Pure Faction attempt number one in Elithia. Uh, I didn't want to make you watch the whole thing. Pure Faction is slow and tedious and it's just a real pain. I didn't want to make you watch all of that or just have to skip through the video. So what we have here is our tank, the Elith Elithian Colossus. He doesn't normally steal that much, but he steals magic from an enemy and then shifts it to both life and armor. Then we have the Hive Mind, which is the reason we have so much magic, because he stole magic from one of these guys and sh shifted it to magic on these guys. Um, the first couple casts, I got one that boosted armor, I got one that boosted life, I think I got one, I had to have gotten one that boosted um, attack as well before I got the magic. But as far as tactic go, tactics go, you want to fill up, you take every purple and yellow you can when it starts, take every blue and uh, brown you can. Don't worry about the Elithian Servitors. They are for cleanup later on. Um, so basically, you want to make sure and steal magic with these first two troops before they can kill you, before they can cast if possible. Um, I have had some damage. You can see there's some damage down here. Uh, but if you play it right, then you can steal all of their magic before they have a chance to kill you. That one's at eight because it stole some back. This one is really nothing to worry about. It, it does hit you pretty hard, but it only steals four magic. This is the one you really, really need to be worried about because he can shift it to a random skill. And then the Elithian, Elithian Colossus as well. Um, because he also is going to be stealing from you and shifting it to life and armor. And he did cast on me. Um, this one, you can see, only has a two magic. So you've got, to, you've got to have some luck involved. But the first two battles were not painful at all. Normally, I do a battle here, a battle there. It may be weeks apart because it's such a pain. I'm doing all three battles in a row here. Now... If you get stuck and see the only match I can make right now, well, it's not the only match, but the match, let's say that this was the only match I could make is pulling this over here. That would drop this skull right here and they would be able to make a skull match off of it. That's really when you want to cast. I'm not worried about this guy. He can't do any damage. He's going to steal some magic, but it's only two. So I'm going to go ahead and cast with this. Hope that he takes this match and not this one, or this one. Actually, he can take that one, then I can have skulls on him. But we're gonna go ahead and cast. I can steal some magic back with this, but it's kind of pointless, so it, this is going to be my main damage, this and skulls at this point. So we just stole back a little magic. These two are pretty much useless at this point. They don't do anything with their spell because they've already stolen all of the magic that. From the entire team um, and so their spells not going to do anything to help me I did make sure and I had the hive mind full and I didn't cast it until I was able to cast at least once with the Elithian Colossus because I wanted to be sure and buff his um, life and armor with some of that stolen magic so let's see what am I gonna do if I have to I will cast with this um, if it looks like that, I'm going to give them a skull match because I really don't want to do that. That was very lucky. And I'm not, I could have taken that blue and dropped that down. I wasn't thinking. But I've got to be careful because if I lose my tank, that's going to make things difficult. This is basically a meat shield, so to speak, here. Um, these two are useless at this point, so uh, I am going to take the blue, purple, and even if you have something that's full, if you see a yellow, blue, purple on the board that you can take safely, you should prioritize mana, really, um, if you can, because the faster you can get these guys damaged 
and steal their magic, the better. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I should have taken that skull match. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Bad Genki call. Bad Genki call. Sorry about that. Did I even greet you? Hi, hi. I think I did, but hi, hi anyway. <laughs> ah, I'm such a nut. Um, So I could cast with this right now and steal back a little bit of this um, magic that they have stolen from me. Um... But do I want to? I don't need any brown. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Take a little bit of that magic back from them. They they can steal one magic. I'm not worried about them. Uh, I still don't need the brown. I just don't want them to get any skulls on me. No skull damage, please. I don't want to die. I've already done Deathless. I uploaded that video yesterday. I used uh, Hiking Iron Gut with Lyraza and Thrall and Fiendfire for that. Uh, let's see. I need purple and I need blue, and that's all I need. If I drop this down, they're going to take the blue that I want. No! Dog on it! So, I think I'll play the smart. And I will just go ahead and steal some magic. I don't think they had any magic to steal. Oh, they had one magic to steal or something. And that allows me to take this blue. So that's where tactics come in here. Um, now he has four magic and I can steal that. So I will use this if it looks like I'm going to give them a skull match, but otherwise he can just sit there for now. I'll do this. Take that blue. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll go ahead and that. I don't want to do this because then I'd give them a skull match. Uh, this might give them, yeah, it gave them a skull match. I was hoping it wouldn't, but I want that blue, but I also want that purple that's going to fall. That's okay. We'll do it. I was hoping some, I was hoping that some skulls would fall so that I could damage them, but I still don't want to do that. And it looks like I don't have any matches. Other than that, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Take that magic back, which he's going to steal right back. But I think that this is a done deal. I don't want to make that match. Darn it. Darn it. I do have skull damage reduction here, but yeah, I really don't want to tempt fate and give them those skulls. But I don't think I have a choice. I don't see any other matches. I'm just going to look around here for a second. Put it off and put it off, and I still have to make that darn move. Dang. All right, that's all right. We've still got this. We've still got this. All right, take the purple. Take the blue. Take those skulls. Again. Definitely want blue. <sighs> if there was... A yellow match. Now, I'm going to take that, definitely. I always take match fours, and I want to take that just in case. In case I need to stall off again on trying to keep them from getting a skull match, I want to get some more mana. So we're going to go ahead and cast now. We're getting there. If I can do this on my first try, I am going to be so happy. Oh, it would be awesome. It has never happened before. I have struggled so much. Oh, I'm getting so close. I have struggled so much with pure faction, and it's always been so painful, but this isn't bad. I mean, I have to think a little, which is fine, but I'm not struggling and pulling out my hair and wanting to cry. So... <laughs> Not that it's ever made me cry, but it has frustrated me mightily. I don't want to make that match. That'll give him some skulls. So I'll take this. Oh no, I gave him skulls anyway. I have no skull damage reduction. That's pretty good. So the fact that the hive mind stole some armor and life earlier in the round <laughs> turned out to be super helpful. I'm definitely taking that. And we're going to cast this. Oh, we're so close. Oh, I'm so close. I can taste it. Ah! Oh. 
Oh no, thank you. <gasps> oh my goodness, three damage. Oh, three damage. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna do it. They had spell damage reduction. I didn't want to make this match, um, hoping that a skull wouldn't fall, but I think it's a moot point at this at this time. Um, even if they manage to kill this off. I've still got them. They only have two points left. I am so happy. Ah! I just won. I just won. I got my pure faction on the first try. Woo! All right. Now, now that I have gone through the tactics of the team, I have to give a shout out to Hazard. Hazard is the one that uploaded the video with tactics that I used for this faction, um, pure faction run. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much, Hazard. Hazard is awesome. The videos do not have voiceover, unfortunately, but definitely, definitely deserves a follow. He or she comes up with amazing teams. And um, yeah, it's absolutely awesome. I will link in Hazard's video in the description box below so you can check out the original video he or she does always put information in the um, description box so that you will know everything that's going on step by step and um, so anyway go ahead and check out hazard let's go and grab my pet my level 20 pet Yee! i got another level 20 pet if you want to hang with me i'll show you ah uh, oh i can't believe it hamster thalamus <laughs> it's a brain, obviously. <laughs> so now that I have the pet and the buff for the Alithian troops, I don't need it. But hey, it's a level 20 pet, and I'm super happy about that. So let's get this up to level 20 and see if I can get Drek Zoom up any more levels. Also, I need to share with you my horde and all of that stuff. So let's go over that before we pop on up to, um, to Drek Zoom. So... My horde here at Elithia is 102. I went a little over 100. So that gave me plus one armor and plus one life, those two extra levels. So that's one point. Also, we are at the end of the current campaign, and that means that I have plus 10 health, plus six armor, plus 15, sorry, plus six attack, plus 15 armor, and plus six magic so i'm sure that helped as well as far as my level in drac zoom it is 15. <gasps> i can go up a level i can go up a power level i'm so happy but power le or, i'm sorry level 15 gives me of two of the 25 percent faction horde stat bonuses i'll show you in a minute but let's go in here and get my power level up ah oh, so happy Oh, happy day, happy day, level 15. So I've got the faction horde stat bonuses right here and here. Ah, uh, let's see if we can do this. Unlock, oh, I can do this. I can do it. I'm sure I can. Maybe, can I do it? Let's see. Get this one traded. Let's see if there's any more besides the doom that can be traded. I may be able to get it up some more levels. That would be awesome. Uh, upgradable, please. All right, I'll upgrade it if that's what I need to do. Fantastic. All right, let's go up another power level. Now, I tell you, I've been doing a push to get all of my power levels up as high as possible. And earlier today, I got a tribute with 27 gems in it. That is insanely high for me. So good. Ah. Oh. All right. I can't go any further than that. Everybody is leveled up as high as I can get them. I think that and without using power orbs, I cannot get them any higher. So anyway, I got him up a couple, um, couple of levels. And so my tribute reward and tribute chance, that's the important one, uh, have both gone up. So super pumped about that many thanks again to hazard thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed this please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon Bye bye